Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my video. Today I'm visiting the beautiful and very historic city of Jerusalem. In this particular video we're going to walk on the defensive walls of the old city of Jerusalem built by the Ottoman Turks in the middle of the 16th century. We're going to start our walk by the citadel right by Jaffa Gate. We're going to end up at Dung Gate by the Jewish quarter. This is Vec. Let's go for a long walk. We have so much to see, to enjoy and to learn. Let's do it. Okay, straight ahead of us we see Jaffa Gate. You can see the tower in the middle of the frame which is to the right side of the gate as you enter. And here's the beautiful citadel of Jerusalem. We're going to tour this beautiful citadel, a very historic site, on a different video. We're going to walk around the citadel and we're going to enter for a long walk on the walls of the old city of Jerusalem. We're gonna get absolutely beautiful views of the Armenian quarter and of the Jewish quarter. Now let's go down the steps carefully. Let's use our ticket to go inside and let's have a good time and let's enjoy the tour. I'm now inside the citadel. You can see a view of the beautiful defensive walls of the citadel. We're going to turn around now. We're going to have to climb all the way up there. A very steep metal staircase to get to the top of the walls. Come on. And uh, here is another beautiful view of the citadel from up here. On a very hot but very, very windy day. Now we're going to turn around right there. We're going to walk towards an eastern direction. To my left and over the walls is the Armenian quarter. Jerusalem has been divided into four quarters. The Armenian, the Jewish, we're going to see both of those quarters during this tour, and the Muslim and Christian quarters that we're going to see on a different tour of their walls. With a view of the citadel in the distance, let's examine the history of the walls very briefly. They were built by the Ottoman Turks between the years of 1537 and 1540. And what you see here are the original walls intact. These are the most magnificent walls in the world and that's because they have not changed at all. They were built under the Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent who was responsible for many beautiful Ottoman works in the Ottoman Empire at the time. From here, we can get a view of southern Jerusalem. Right there. I'm now standing in the corner of a very large perpendicular defensive tower. Here is a view of the Armenian quarter directly in front of me. Now the Turks 
every 30 or so meters build beautiful square or perpendicular defensive towers. You see one right here. Here's a view of the walls that we're going to cover in a few minutes. And uh, from here I get a beautiful view of the southern part of the defensive walls of the old city of Jerusalem. You can see a defensive square tower ahead of us. Let's walk down towards that direction. Come on. Now the floor is very uneven here. It has been paved with stones and it's slippery as well. So when you come here, not only you have to bring a lot of water, which you will definitely consume, but you need to be very careful when you walk around, especially when you go up and down the steps because they are very, very slippery. And uh, in the far distance, about 400 meters ahead of us, we can see the citadel and here's a view of the Armenian quarter. The Armenians own this part of the land here that has remained unexcavated. And right there, the big building that you see directly ahead of us is part of the Armenian quarter and part of the Cathedral of St. James. Okay, we have now reached the southeastern corner of the walls and of the old city of Jerusalem. Let's go a little closer. Right there. That area outside the walls is called Mount Zion. You can see the beautiful Dormition Abbey built in 1900 on the place where Virgin Mary died and where she lived after the death of Jesus Christ. And there is a video on my channel about the beautiful abbey and church. Now let's go down the steps here and now we're going to have the sun to our right. But let's be careful over here. We're going to exit the Armenian quarter in about 300 meters. Here's the empty lot that we saw earlier. And then we're going to enter the Jewish quarter. And here's a view of the Dormition Abbey to our right. Okay, I'm now walking towards the northern direction and towards Zion Gate. Here's another building from the Armenian compound. And right around this pine tree, there's a very neglected Christian Armenian cemetery with a lot of destroyed tombs and graves, unfortunately. Now we get a beautiful view of the walls since it got a little cloudy. There are no shadows from the sunlight. And right in front of us, the very historic Zion Gate. If you would like to see gates here in the old city of Jerusalem, by far you should see Damascus Gate, the entry into the Muslim quarter, the very famous Jaffa Gate that everybody uses to enter Jerusalem, Zion Gate in front of us, and finally Golden Gate at the Dome of the Rock complex. This gate here, if you view it from outside, it bears the scars from the 1967 war. The Israelis attacked this gate in order to beat the Jordanians and all the bullet holes on the outside of the gate are very, very obvious. Here now, in just a few meters, we're exiting the Armenian quarter. This building belongs to the Armenian quarter, and we're going to enter the Jewish quarter. Now let's take the steps up here and let's cross. 
the top of Zion Gate. Here we are. Zion Gate. Now let's uh, pause here for just a few moments and let's take this opportunity to review where we are. I'm on, uh, I'm on uh, Zion Gate. And you can see I'm on top of a hill because in order to proceed down towards the gate of Dung, the UNG, I have to go downhill and therefore there's a lot of steps. Right there on, in the far distance, East Jerusalem. This is the part of Jerusalem that the Palestinians claim to be their capital. Right there ahead of us, right there, the Mount of Olives and the Gardens of Gethsemane, or Gethsemane. And you may be able to see the golden dome of the rock right behind these two trees in the middle of the frame. So you get beautiful views of parts of the city of Jerusalem from up here. Now let's continue. Let's go down the steps very carefully here. Let's walk towards Dung Gate. I'm now standing on one of the square defensive towers. You can see right here and directly in front of us right there is the Jewish quarter. You can see a very large synagogue to the right of the two trees on the left side of the frame. Now in order to get here from the southeastern corner to this point it was very very difficult. It is a very narrow path of about two feet, about 60 centimeters in width. So you need to be very, very careful and also physically very fit in order to do this walk. Now you don't have to worry about falling and that's because the Israelis have placed along the whole path very nice, very strong railing as you can see. It will protect you from falling. But it is not the ideal walk for people that suffer from acrophobia. That's for sure. All right, let's continue. We don't have much to go. We passed Zion Gate a while ago. We entered the main grounds of the Jewish Quarter. You can only, always tell the Jewish Quarter from how new the buildings are. It was uh, taken from the Jordanians in 1967 and completely rebuilt. Let's continue our walk and let's be careful going down the steps. Remember, they are very, very slippery. Trust me. Now let's uh, pause here for a second. And let's uh, mention that uh, when Suleiman the Magnificent, the Ottoman Turks, when they built the walls between 1537 and 1540, they expanded, they expanded the boundaries of Jerusalem. And here, just in front of the Jewish quarter, you can see parts of the ancient wall of Jerusalem. So here there used to be a very large tower or a an entry into old Jer Jer Jerusalem. The Turks expanded the boundaries of the city considerably. They did so and as a result the Calvary where Jesus was crucified at and where he died and where he was resurrected at, is now inside the city. Whereas at the time of Jesus, we know the Golgotha or the Calvary was outside the city of Jerusalem. Let's continue towards Dun Gate. And uh, from this high point up here at the walls, I want to show you a view of Eastern Jerusalem. You can see it now very, very clearly. It stretches back into the distance. This is the area that the Israelis took from the Jordanians in the 1967 war. And in order to enter 
the old city of Jerusalem, they had to enter through Zion Gate that we passed just a few minutes ago. We have now reached Dung Gate, D-U-N-G Gate. In the far distance you can see the Jewish quarter and behind these buildings is the Western or Wailing Wall. You can hear the kids playing here at the Jewish school. Now why is this gate called Dung Gate? It is called so because during the Roman times and during the Byzantine times this is where garbage or rubbish was thrown out of and in this area overlooking right outside this whole area there used to be a huge garbage dump that's the name Dung Gate. With this I have to thank you for viewing my videos and following my channel, it has been a true adventure of mine completing this video. I wanted to complete it four years ago when I was here in Jerusalem and ran out of time. But now I have finally accomplished this goal as well. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from the old city of Jerusalem. This was the a walk of the defensive walls of the old city from the citadel to Dung Gate. Bye-bye.